All right, we are back. We're going to deal with Talitha, then we'll head out to Luna. Even though Luna's not really part of going after Saren, Admiral Hackett asked us to do it, so we're going to do it. Because we are still Alliance, and we're still in the military. <laughs> but first, we have to deal with this Talica, Talitha girl, who's um, a survivor of the raid on Mindwar, although she ended up as a slave. Commander, glad to see you. I wish it were under better circumstances. Where is she? Behind those shipping containers. I've got a sniper position, but I don't think we'll need him. She's only a danger to herself. We've got a sedative to calm her down, but we can't get close to her. Every step we take gets her more wound up. You seem awfully worried about her. I... I I'm just doing my job, Commander. Do I'll take care of her versus I'll take it. I'll talk to her. Keep back. Don't push her too hard. If she seems liable to pull the trigger, back off or walk away. I am willing to wait her out. Good luck, Commander. First time I ever did this quest, hmm. um, I didn't know how it worked out, so I just walked away. I was afraid she's gonna kill herself, and so I, um... Stop! Stop! What are you... What are you? So I just walked away, and I got a message later saying, well, they dealt with her. It's like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. My name is Shepard. Lieutenant Gerard sent me to talk to you. What's your name? Animals don't get names. <laughs> the Masters put their symbols on her. Hot metal all over her back. She screams when they do it. You're not an animal. Your parents, what did they call you? Do you remember them? She remembers a lot of things. Talitha. They call her that. She... She doesn't remember the rest. Leave her alone. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do if you're supposed to go through every one of these investigates and charm her or not to succeed. Or if you were to just take a step towards her, she'd kill herself. I don't know, but I've never risked it. What happened to your parents? There's... She sees them. They're yelling, run, hide! They hit the Masters, but the Masters, they have lights and hoses. Daddy's... he's melting! Shh! She doesn't want to see that! Don't make her look! Don't look! Stupid, stupid! I don't want to hear that. You survived 13 years in a slave pen. You were strong enough to deal with a memory. She's not strong! She's weak and stupid! All humans are! That's what the Masters say. She sees them. Mommy and Daddy. Burning in white light, melting, going to pieces. They can't even say anything to her. They're dead, Shepard. They try to save her and the Masters burn them. Can she stop remembering now, please? What's the last thing you remember from Minduar? Fires. Smells of smoke and burning meat. Animals screaming as the masters cage them. As they put the metal to their backs. Put the wires in their brains. She pretends to be dead. If she's dead, she can't work. But they know! She hopes to leave. But they put her in the pen. She didn't fight. She was already broken when they put the wires in. Talitha, you were what, six years old? No one blames you for staying quiet and hoping they go away. The only person blaming you is you. She wants to believe that. She wants to believe nothing would change. She doesn't want to be there anymore. In the pen, in the cages, lying quiet while they do things to her. 
How did you get here? Did you escape? She can't escape. They have chains, wires, needles. You go too far, they take your brains away. Animals like her come. Animals with guns. They make the masters explode. She tries to fix the masters so they won't be mad at her. She puts all the reds and purples back in, but they don't move. The other animals take her. You were afraid. All you'd known for 13 years was the master's abuse. So you tried to heal them. She doesn't want to see other animals. They're not real. They can't be real. They can't see her. If the animals can see her, then this is real. But it can't be. The wires, the chains, the hitting. This doesn't happen to her. It's another girl. A dirty girl. Stupid girl. She deserves it. It happens to her. Doesn't it? They see her, so it's real. She doesn't want it to be real. I was on Mindwar. My parents died in the raid. Lying? You get hit for lying! Get the buzz or the burning. Can't be there. Why are you alive? Why are you? Why aren't you like her? Broken. Only fit to dig and carry. This is Shepard. This is definitely the Shepherd. I fought. My whole family fought and got hit by an artillery strike for their trouble. I got buried under rubble. If they saw me, they left me for dead. Dead animals can't work? You lose your mommy and daddy, but you don't dig, you don't carry. You stand up. She wishes she could stand up. I'm gonna take a step towards you now, okay? She's no good. Don't want to be handled again. Like I said, when I got to this point, I was like, uh, I don't know. I was afraid she's going to kill herself. I'm going to take a step towards you now, okay? She doesn't want... Don't touch her! I'm going to take a step towards you now, okay? It's a little bit well drawn out here. Please don't touch her. She's dirty. You'll catch it. Talitha, this will make you sleep. If you fall asleep, they'll take you to a place where you can get better. Will she have bad dreams? I'm not going to lie to you. I just don't know. She'd like that. It hurts when she... When I remember... Me. But she wants to remember. There she is. Actually, I'm feeling some emotion here. A little... A little s weepy. And I've never felt that way before. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm paying more attention this time. <laughs> I don't know. Is it over, Commander? I got her to take the sedative. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot. I didn't want to hurt her. It's just when I see her curled into a ball and shivering. It... She was only six when they took her. Why the hell are we out here if we can't even keep one little girl safe? To make people who do things pay. It's not the severity of punishment that deters crime. It's the certainty. So we clean up the wreckage, shoot the guilty, and hope everyone else learns not to mess with us? Great. I'll take care of it from here, Commander. That's why Shepard's out here. That's this Shepard, anyway. Come on. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Uh, 
Okay, Locked. let's... The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. We are heading to Luna now on the request of Admiral Hackett. We don't Message need... coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it the right way. To be honest, I thought she was full of crap. She was, but we can't say that. There's an art to dealing with the media. This won't happen again, Commander. We have a press corps so personnel don't have to deal with her kind of BS. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. I don't know what happened there. I heard the sound. What's going on? I don't understand. All right. Now, if this was uh, your initial playthrough, of course, you'd want to get over to Luna as quick as possible so you could get your class specialization. But I've already done that, so I don't need to do this at all if I don't want to. I think some tech people would be good this time. It means Tally and I guess Garrus, Team Dextro. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's go with them. You can tell I've played this game a lot. I know just where the crap is. I don't have to look on my map. Stopping for that thing. Up you go, up you go, that's right. Go on, make up. And there's the backwards earth. If you look at it. Uh, can we look at it? Yeah, we can. Let's get a close view. That's Mexico. And that's Florida. And there's Baja, California right there. In other words, this is the Gulf of Mexico, only it's backwards. Uh, Bioware, how in the world did you get Earth backwards? And from what I could tell, Canada... Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. That's Hudson Bay right up there. Okay, that's Hudson Bay. Okay. All right. Yeah, they are. Where's the other? Let's 
get in there. Come on. Oops, I missed. Let's get in there. Come on. Move before it gets me. Come on. All right. I'm on my way. Okay. I level these dudes up. Tally, we're working on your dampening, I guess. Okay. Oops. What do, oh, I just, I just level to Garrus. And let's see. D D Tungsten. Garrus. Uh, I don't know if he needs stability or not. Do I have a um uh, I guess not. Let's get rid of that crap. Anything that's not level 9 now is obsolete. Oops. The main thing I wanted to do here is give them that. And then tally. Okay, good, good. And there you go, tally. Let's save. Get rid of this thing. Alright, save. Good, you got your shotgun. Garrus has got his assault rifle. No. No. And I don't think so, nah. Anything else? What do you got here? No. No. Kill them all, jeez. You know, when I was doing the Quarian ally thing, I found out just how mercenary Tally can be, man. She, she can be something else. And you think of Tally as this sweet, innocent little girl. And then you'd start taking her on every single mission, and you find out, uh, no, Tally's got a rather ruthless streak to her. No, we haven't. There's four more over here, Garris. Sorry, Garris. You'll get over it. I should check. What have they got in the way of, um... No... No, no. <clears throat> I'll take 
those. What have they got in the way of combat exoskeleton? That's good. Medical exoskeleton. That's good. And Garrus, what do you got? Combat exoskeleton. I don't have another. Nine kinetic. I get rid of that, and I. It's between the medical and the kinetic, and I think that's better. All right, for now. Anyway. <gasps> oh, tally! You and your Omni tool. Yes, definitely present for you there tally oh now now tally's in good shape Let's go over there first, didn't matter which one. Go, Shepard, go! Run, Shepard, run! I leave the Mako at one of them, so that I know which ones I've been to already. Alright, save. All you ever turn up in these things is weapons. I don't care about weapons. And the only weapons that count are the specter weapons. Tally, could you ha maybe hack one of those guys? Garrus, you're right. Yeah, he got poisoned. Oh well. But he got over it really quick. So who cares about these things? It's like, what's the, so what? job much harder. I think it's blown, I think. It's gone. It's just it's not just blown, it's gone.
lugar. Maybe I should think about Shepard first. Shepard? Oh, I don't think I need that anymore. Not with this Colossus. And, f well, I'll keep a few around. Oops. Um, yeah, go with that. Garrus, what you got? Definitely don't need that. Because I'm sure I can give you a better one. Yep. And you got a 9 there. I don't think we have a 10. No, that's good enough. And Tally, what you got? You got a 9 and a 9. All right. Oh, let's check weapon. Weapons check. Shepard. What you got? Frictionless 10. Or, no, that's a frictionless 9. Go away. Give you the 10. Kinetic coil. Go away. Give you the 10. And Garrus. Go away, we'll give you the 10. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll give you the 10. And tally. Do we have another 10? No. Combat optics. I don't think stability matters for shotguns, but I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, I've never really bothered researching. Um, researching this game, Mass Effect 1, I know an awful lot about the others, but not this one, because I just don't care. The combat, as I've said before, is I just don't like it. Let's save again. <laughs> I keep giving you when did they ever give you armor? I guess they do once in a while. But they tend to want to give you weapons. Hmm. Hmm. There we got some armor. Tally, what would be really good right here is if you hacked one of those dudes. Look at this dot. I'm just going to dance back and forth. There's, there's actually no thought involved in any of this. It's just hand eye coordination. Whatever. It's. it's Whatever, who cares? There's no thought.
Is that your shotgun I hear there, Tally? And there goes Baby Edie, which uh, ASCII code, that's ASCII code for H-E-L-P. So there goes Baby Edie. That's another good reason for me to do this thing is it does affect the dialogue later on. Not much, one line in Mass Effect 2 and one line in Mass Effect 3. Or a couple lines in Mass Effect 3. From a role-playing perspective, it makes sense to do it because Hackett asked us. We don't know exactly when the Geth will be invading the Armstrong Cluster. We may have time to get out there. Certainly, if they're already there, we can try to get them rooted out. So, I think we have time to get to the Armstrong Cluster. We don't have to get there right away. All right, but we do know there's Geth out there. And so, uh, it seems likely that Saren's going to be out there, too. Anyway, that's enough for this episode. The next episode, well, I'm going to check whether Tally's dialogue's advanced, and I'll probably check after every single mission. Um, if it's advanced or not. Um, but until then... Uh, take it easy and have a nice day.